big attraction in uh, my area of Pennsylvania is Clyde Peeling's <coughs> Reptile Land <laughs> in Allenwood, which is also home of a federal penitentiary. <laughs> and um, I'm not fond of snakes, but I spent a lot of time at Clyde Peeling's Reptile Land going to children's birthday parties. And uh, rumor has it that they also host weddings. <laughs> <laughs> Clyde Keeling's Reptile Land. Evenings they went out, wedding reception guests winding in and out between glass cages that reflect back delight in fearing its trapped spectators. A martini with the black mambas, hors d'oeuvres with the Indian pythons, chicken with the unfried two-toned arrow poison frogs and their nervously twitching legs. <laughs> At ten, the bride arrives the Aldabra tortoise, her long gown wound around her elbow or flung wildly down, zigzagging its trail in dirt transplanted from some Pennsylvania farm where optimistic rodents dream of gulping pit vipers whole. <laughs> it is slow going. <laughs> Metamorphosis is the vow of the hour, hanging in the ever-changing air like an overdone toast mixed with twisted sister. No French kissing here, in full view of forked tongues. But there's a tense attempt when the couple's lip rings clink at each rattle of the wine glass. It is all the common iguana can do to not smirk when the tattooed groom tries to smile, line dancing his way along Amphibian's lane. Soon everyone sips and hisses. The quietest drunks leave their skins behind. Later, the DJ howls outside the crocodile pit, where four star acoustics uncoil the sound to the local penitentiary and inmates bet on accidental deaths. There is an uncertainty that grips us like the gray water grips the last few chunks of river ice in these last few minutes of light on a day in the ending weeks of winter. A winter that was not much of a winter. You hope that spring might become something more of a season, whatever good hope might do. On this gravel shore, the front street traffic noise fades in and out. The long lines of water run into oblivion. There is illusion and what remains. Here, the river joins its branches, north and west, and funnels its way south. Between Sunbury and Blue Hill are ghosts. The old toll bridge remembered only by those who themselves are mere apparitions. The black iron train bridge, once the world's sharpest turn for a rail line, gone. But when? The white bridge built after the floods, the kids no longer call it new. Gray wall, foot thick, 10, 15, 20 feet high, built to hold back floodwaters. But what does it hold in? The sun slips behind the rock outcrop of the hill. Gray becomes grayer, then evaporates. The water's edge is indistinct. <laughs> 